So you might ask yourself a question, why should I waste time on hobbies and activities when I can just grind and make more money? Isn't that hustling what it's all about? Isn't that all that matters? When I encourage you to find an enjoyable activity and incorporate it into your life, it might not sound simple, but that's because the things that are worth having in life, you have to work hard for. So take a moment now and ask yourself, do you desire that journey for yourself? Well, let me ask you this. Why should this matter to you or to me? Because the truth is, it shouldn't. And that's the core message of this video. The activities that you enjoy should have one singular purpose, which is to enhance your enjoyment and improve the quality of your life. We all overemphasize this notion of our passion. It must also be our purpose, and it must also be the source of income. This is a concept that plagues so many young adults, especially those of you that are 18 to 20, 25, 30. They feel pressured to have their lives figured out immediately, when in fact, you have a whole lifetime to unravel the complexities of your life. Like your unique contribution to make the world a better place is your purpose. And that aligns with the universe's purpose. However, there's no need to stress out about that at 18 if you've discovered something that you genuinely are passionate about and believe that it will become a fulfilling career. Then you've won. Is he sleeping? This video is gonna revolve around the time when I was in college, a computer science major, training to win my first bodybuilding competition as I felt like I was such a good bodybuilder because of how it all started. So let's go back. My bodybuilding journey began with a simple motivation. I was originally inspired to create gym content for my family back in India, and it motivated me to keep working out. And from high school to college, I began to get way more curious about the gym and working out to improve my health. And at first, that's all I wanted to do. I wanted to be healthy. But as I became more involved in the sport and social media's portrayal of success warped my perspective, leading me to become obsessed with winning. As I delved deeper into the world of bodybuilding, I realized that the true reward came not from the accolades or the recognition, the trophies, but from the training itself. This process of embracing my journey rather than fixating on external validation allowed me to find happiness and cultivate a deeper love for the sport. I think the biggest takeaway when you're doing something you love unconditionally is that you make time for it no matter what. I always remember showing up to the gym even on days when I don't feel like going. Going. I was committed. Someone would say I was addicted to working out, bodybuilding, and this is what I'm talking about. When you're defining the life you want to live, at first, I wanted to live the life of a healthy person, and then I wanted to live the life of a winner, a champion, and now I'm living the life of a 31-year-old dad. I still weight train, I still manage to get time to go do cardio and take care of my health, because I'm defining the life that I want to truly live by staying true to my passions and making time for them and focusing on what truly matters, regardless of inevitable changes in my life, which I actually believe is true success. But I do have to ask, are you afraid of trying new things? When I encourage you to find an enjoyable activity and incorporate it into your life, it might not sound simple, but that's because the things that are worth having in life, you have to work hard for. And there's a reason we often struggle to commit to the things we love most. We may not love them enough, or perhaps we fail to recognize the daily achievements that these things we love afford us. For instance, when I check my Apple Watch after I've done a workout, it's super small, it makes no difference to anybody else, but to me, it's like the highlight of my training. I get to see how my average heartbeat was and if it was much higher then I'm like damn that was a really tough session in like 35 minutes at 150 beats per minute that was pretty good that was a solid workout so little things kind of keep me going so when you fall in love with something it can be anything just fucking become obsessed but focus on the daily small wins that you can count and track them write them in a book use apps that show you little charts of progress right? Like the Apple Watch thing. I really like that. It tells me that I have a goal to hit every day. You got to find the people to talk to about your hobby. And that's how you make a community out of it. And also you can invest in your passions. Maybe that's buying, you know, gym gear or buying new supplements or straps, whatever your hobby is, put your finances towards that and make that your investment to live a more fulfilled and joyful life. Okay. So I've shared quite a bit about my personal life, including the challenges and obstacles that I face. Yet I can't help but ask myself, why do I keep going? Why do I create content that might not get much views or recognition that I believe it deserves? Well, the answer is simple. I made a conscious decision to embrace this life fully, knowing that sacrifices are gonna be necessary for me to achieve and maintain that life. And that's just part of the journey. When I'm talking about sacrifice, I genuinely 
genuinely mean surrendering. Like Abhinav Jan, me, I have surrendered wholeheartedly to the present moment. I've come to understand that my life unfolds before me as I release this grip of expectations on what the future outcome should be like. Because life is happening right now. The happiness I experience when I hold my son can be shared and expressed to him only in the present moment. Now I've talked about discovering your passion. Like for me, it was bodybuilding. And I bring these topics up because I believe that I am leading a very fulfilling life. And that's only due to me trusting my intuition and pursuing the goals that I have wanted by reminding myself, why am I doing this? Reminding myself that every day is gonna be different and surrendering to the idea that I'm in good hands. I'm in God's hands. I'm in the universe's hands. And it's not easy and I definitely fall off of it, but I embrace it. And that is what has allowed me to continue this pursuit after 12 years from when I started. It's why after all these years, I still make time to hit the gym because it clears my head of all my expectations when I'm there. It's a place where I can track my progress for myself and myself alone. Being able to enjoy the things that I like without the added pressure of them being a certain way has allowed me to embrace the journey and not focus on the destination so much. And when you can embrace the journey, I'm telling you, it's kind of funny, the destination is so much sweeter because when you enjoy the climb, you enjoy the freaking view even more. And please, Stop trying to rush the process. Watch my video on why you're always burning out. So take a moment now and ask yourself, do you desire that journey for yourself? This is a journey that you have control in making happen or not. My bodybuilding career was only a fantasy until I brought my present thoughts into action. Creating content, lifting weights, it's all serving a purpose. These are avenues for self-expression and even in some cases for self-discovery. And if you didn't find anything in this video that resonated with you, that's perfectly fine because I know one thing, this video has made a difference for one person and that's me. Please remember the importance of the journey over purpose and success. Success and purpose will appear as you find hobbies and interests that you like. I hope you really enjoyed this video. We put a lot of thought into this idea. I would love to have you share it with someone that you think would find it beneficial and I want to hear from you in the comments. Let me know what you think. That's good.